Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Dub to send out bulk video emails directly from the Dub platform. Let's get into it. The first thing you'll need to do is connect an email to Dub. So visit your settings. Under Team, you will need to enter a physical address in order to be CAN spam compliant. Next, you'll need to visit the campaign settings where you'll configure an email address. You can click Add a New Configuration, and there's a lot of options here. We usually recommend using a Gmail unless your list is larger. You can use any other SMTP provider, um, Amazon, Ma Mandrill, SendGrid. Each of these have unique connection options, um, so be sure to select the appropriate provider. For Gmail, it's very direct. There's a nice API that will take you right through the whole thing. Once you're done configuring your physical address and your email, we're ready to move to the next step, which is making sure that the video is configured to be included in campaigns. So when I mean that, uh, you can go ahead and click this video right here. And right here under details at the bottom, there's a little switch right here that says share with team and allow collaboration. Under that little eye icon, you can see it says click here to be included in campaigns and workflows. So we wanna make sure that box is checked and that way these videos can be included in a campaign. So once that's done, we are ready to visit the marketing section. Under campaigns, the first thing I'll need to do is create an email. You can see here some successful campaigns, campaigns that we've already ran. So when I click new, that takes me to the section where I can create these emails. The first step is to choose the email, or first step is to name the campaign. I'm gonna go ahead and name this one test. The next step is to choose the email provider that we configured in the previous step. Then we have the from name of the email, and then now here's the subject of the email itself. Now we'll show up in the subject line, and it's pulling this first name data from your contact section. So if you're utilizing tokens, make sure that the contacts have that data in your contacts field. Next, we will um, include right here how to build a campaign, or we just did this video. All you have to do is click the video and you put a little blue frame around it, and that video will be the one included in this campaign. Next, we're gonna choose whether we want to use a simple email or use a template. So you'll he see here where it says email templates, I can click either simple editor and use the little editor here. Um, so any changes I make, uh, check it out. You can see show up down here in the preview of the email. So this one's just pretty simple, it's all plain text. We can also use fancy templates. So we have templatized emails that we can put in there throws in your logo, your social icons. These are clicked and directly linked to your social icons. So it's a little bit fancier of an email. If you wanna edit these, you can make modifications there. Um, once you have modified the template to your liking, then we can come back into this section and select that template. Um, the next step is recipients. So there's a couple of ways we can do this. One is we can enter contacts one at a time, just like this, I can enter one email one at a time, and then uh, I can move to the next line and go on so on and so forth. Uh, I can also use the inclusion lists here and what that means is if I have over here in my contacts section you'll see that contacts have tags associated with them. You'll see that everyone in here has a sign up tag and so if I come in here to this inclusion list and I choose the tag sign up you'll see that it automatically enrolls everyone with that sign up tag which happens to be about 17,500 contacts. And then I can also exclude other contacts. So if I have another contact in there with a different tag that I'd like to exclude, I can choose to exclude that tag and it'll update the recipient count. So either one at a time, you can enter the emails or you can include lists and exclude lists. Um, the last step is to send this e immediately or we can schedule it for a later date and time. 